Hey guys, so there was a lot of breaking news this morning out of Iraq. And this is the earliest I could come because I had a Zoom and then I had to go see the horses and talk to a good friend on the way. I kind of can reconnect with my family of my business uh, through that Zoom. And it was nice to talk to everybody and talk to my friend who called me who was, who was with me on the cruise. I'd met her there. So it says the biggest breaking news was that the deputy prime minister is right now at at the um, UN meeting in in America from the 9th through the 11th this is the middle of the day okay that's the assistant deputy prime minister why because for NATO I'm sorry for NATO uh, it was the assistant deputy prime minister Fuad Hussein he arrived in Washington so that's from the 9th through the 11th well that means the, the Prime Minister had to stay in country for a reason, so wonder what that is. So while he was there, he chaired a meeting. Um, here it is, hold on. Here, he chaired a meeting. This is what he was doing in his country. He chaired a meeting, I'm trying to do this as, as succinct as I can, to monitor the efforts in developing the government banks. Again, guys, the banks rule the world. It's all about the banking system and how secure and stable it is because it's unhackable now. It's the new quantum system. It's the digital one. I said you, in my opinion, I'm thinking Iraq is trying out the new system in totality because they want to lock down all the money in that country so there's no, there's no laundering, there's no funding of terrorism, all that stuff. So this is all good news. For those invested in XRP and XLM, in my opinion, if you understand, they're using that new banking system. It says the Prime Minister Mohammed Chial Al Sadani chaired on Wednesday a meeting to monitor efforts to develop the government bank operations. The Prime Minister's office stated in a press release received by the Iraqi news agency that he chaired a meeting to monitor the efforts, as same thing, in developing the operations of a government bank. The meeting was attended by representative from Ernst & Young, the financial auditing and consulting company. The statement added, that's a big boom for me, why? Because the auditors were there, they were announced when they started their work there, now they're at the ending when they're there. In my opinion, they're probably giving their seal of approval on their financial statements. Their audit's probably done, they probably got, they're opining on those, those statements of checking those systems because that's what they do. They meet when they when they hammer out the agreements of the audit, then they come in and then they give their final end of end of day results to the prime minister. So he was there to get the auditors Ernst and Young who are highly respected just like PricewaterhouseCoopers which was my bailiwick. That's what I used to do. That was my favorite job if my parents hadn't died, the enemy took my parents to steal that career from me. Probably would have been a partner there by now doesn't matter the point is i know enough to tell you what this means and it's all good news for this happening then after that i got a thing and i'm just going to read it to you this was conversation that um uh here it is hold on i'm going to read it to you specifically there's other economic news i could go into but this is more important he said word over here is only two thousand dollars is around is allowed to exchange for international border crossing or flights internationally, only 2,000. If you figure out how much 2,000 dinars for travel is, you are not allowed to travel with more than $10,000. What does this tell you? Just saying they are speaking volumes without saying what is really going on over here. And then they said 10,000 US, 2,000 dinars. It has been discussed on another site, I believe it was Frank 26. So. What are you thinking about that? Five to one. So, what do you think about that? I think that's the biggest boom that's come out of there in a while, and that is on the streets, what they're hearing. So we have to wait for confirmation. Did Frank confirm it? Please comment down below. I'm one person. I'm getting the summaries. Now I'm going to go to the summary of everybody else. That was my own unique contact that comes to me every morning and the evenings when I do my evenings. Tonight I might not do my evenings, and then again I might. So you want to make sure you're subscribed and tap the bell so you'll be notified if I do go live from that unique source. Uh, who kind of confirms everything. So this was today, this is Mark Z via PDK. Iraq has paid off many of their loans and Iraq has been very upfront from finance contacts there that they had planned to release the new rate in June. Now they plan on releasing it in the month of July. Also, I have a government contact in Iraq who said we have a new rate and we'll activate it soon. So Mark's 
people are saying they have a new rate. And that conversation on the street sounds like they have a new rate too. Newshound Guru Claire article, airline set date to resume flights between Baghdad and Moscow. That's all good news. Samson, article 91% of the Iraqi currents is outside the banking system. Quote, um, economist Munar al Obadi announced that the money supply rose to more than 112 trillion dinars until last June. Militiaman said, I think when they say whose operations are constantly expanding in favor of dealing at the fixed official exchange rate is an argument suggesting that instead of being a floating currency, they're leaning towards a fixed official rate for some time. Dot, dot, dot. Frank 26, the float will bring the IQD to the real effective exchange rate and then it will be capped. In his opinion, $1.32 is still not enough. Why? Because the parallel market is extinct. In his opinion, 76 cents doesn't suffice either. Of course, if 76 doesn't suffice, neither does $1.32. But what about what I just told you they're hearing on the street for, for exchanging uh, for travel? That should give you a hint. Saying to Ingram, the dollar has gained over the dong 4.31% since the beginning of 40, 2024. Mark Z, Vietnam targeting Q3, GDP growth of 65 to 7%, inflation below 4.5%, their prime minister says, and this is just the third quarter. They are obliterating the U.S., this is big, and they are under pressure to raise their exchange rate. I think they're coming right on the heels of Iraq. I do think Iraq is going to go first, and I'm really excited that you're part of my tribe because you're going to hear it probably first here. Um, Frank 26, during the float, how much time will pass between each float as the amount increases? And he said, we're looking at anywhere between three and six months, but if they're generous, we may be looking from six months to a year. I pray that's the case, because if they don't give us at least three months, um, we're not gonna be able to take advantage of the float. So guys, I probably shouldn't have included that last comment, because I don't wanna add confusion to our group, because why? We're following Mark 11, 22 to 24, which you believe it's done, you, you, you believe it, you don't waver. You just believe it's done. What do you think? Comment down below if you're in agreement with me. We believe it's done in Jesus' name. Thank you for being here. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Have a great day. I will see you later, maybe. I don't know. Depends on my husband's schedule when he calls. If he doesn't call me by five, I'll probably go live and it might be a short one. But because I'm going to be making dinner for him because he's got a quick turnaround again. We're going to have a few hours together tonight and then he goes back to his course. So please continue to pray for my husband and I love you. You guys are my family. I did load a short with my horses. They were so sweet and um, I just love you. Comment down below if you love me too and give me some encouragement. Bye.